Hey, what's up, Lightbulb Joe here. Today we're going to discuss the 2023 Netflix original film, Doi Boy, D-O-I-B-O-Y, Doi Boy. Great name, right? The film is very slow, and I feel like a p part of this was just not explained properly. I don't know how else to explain it. Like, there were, it, I feel like chunks of the story were missing because... I don't know, it, it just felt like parts were gapping. So this, the main character, Sorn, whose real name is Wan, is a refugee from Myanmar uh, in Chiang Mai, Thailand. So, just crossed the border, basically. And crossing the border was interesting, I will say that. A lot of this story is past and present story, but I thought it was appropriately paced in regards to past and present story. So how Wan wind up deserting the military after... He was a monk who was forced into the military and then left Myanmar to uh, get to Thailand because he wanted to go to Chiang Mai with his friend, Warren. And then by the time they got there to then be, they heard of like this job in the red light district in Chiang Mai where um, they make a lot of money as, you know, male dancers and, you know, becoming part of that sex worker community. So... Uh, the the main madam of that particular doy boy establishment was like no 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 everyone's named Juan now so you're gonna be called Sorn because his friend's name is Corn so it was a Corn and Sorn show cute right but then Sorn starts to get feelings for one of his constant customers who happens to be this police officer who's married with a wife and sh you know there's a child on the way and so then the the cop wants Sorn's help to disappear a political activist in Thailand across the border to join the monastery that um, Sorn was a part of in Myanmar. That's the premise of then crossing back over the border. But why I say that there were gaps missing in the story is how do we jump to that conclusion? How do we say, you know what, in order to disappear this political activist, we're going to send him to a monastery in the country above us. I don't I don't get it. I don't get how A to B equals C. It was just it was strange. How do you get there? Because this cop is also involved in gang stuff, right? Like from from a past past gang stuff. And like that leader is still asking him to do stuff. And then that's why this person has to get disappeared. But like you've killed people before. Why are you wasting the effort to cross the border to smuggle people into another country? If you've already killed people before, it's just, it's strange how that's the scenario of disappearing this political activist who does not want to be disappeared, but they're forced into being disappeared. And then there's political uprising within Chiang Mai because of this disappearance and then other disappearances and so forth. So it's about corruption and stuff, right? Fine. I love the queer aspect about it throughout the entirety of it. There was a lot of gender fluidity throughout it, a lot of sexual fluidity throughout it. Wonderful, right? Representation matters, wonderful. But I don't understand how the the main plot point was to get this character into a monastery in Myanmar f in, as a disappearance aspect. And then the cop winds up getting disappeared himself in a barrel. It's just weird. It's weird because I don't understand how that trajectory of plot equaled that when there could have been so many easier solutions to disappear a character. Weird. It was strange. I didn't understand it. Um, I, I don't, I read the subtitles, so I don't, I don't think I missed anything. It's just an interesting way of writing a story, I guess. An interesting way of telling a story. I don't agree with how it was told um, because it's just too, it's too far-fetched. It just doesn't make sense. It didn't make sense. I, I don't... I don't get it. Um, cast was beautiful. Did a great job with the characters they were given. I like the scenic long shots of characters walking into the jungle, walking into this. There was the fires going on throughout as well. As you know, it, And this was right before COVID started, so that was another thing. Oh, we have to close down shop for two weeks and stuff like that. So I liked that real-world stuff was brought into this. But again, I just don't understand the correlation of I have to disappear someone. We're going to send them across the border into a monastery. It, it just, it's strange. I don't know. I don't know. We watched it. It was on the list. 
We checked it off. On to the next review. Which Malo. <laughs>